afternoon. Welcome to Learn at Home with BIA. My name is Bonnie Love Caldwell, and I'm an early intervention teacher for NEIU 19. This lesson is a look at My Big World with Clifford by Scholastic Magazine, especially created for pre-K children. I hope you enjoy the lesson. Two little houses closed up tight. Open up the windows and let in the light. Ten little finger people tall and straight. Ready for school now, don't be late. Hi everybody. I'm really, really, really excited because I got some mail. And in my mail, I got two things. Two things, two Scholastic magazines. And anybody who knows me knows I love Scholastic magazines. So, I'm not even sure which one I'm going to pick. I'm either gonna read about what should we wear or a teeny tiny nest. Stay tuned. So for this video, I picked what should he wear? And let's take a look at what he's wearing. Well, he's wearing a mask and snorkel and a swim shirt and a bathing suit. So that would mean he might be going swimming. But he's also wearing gloves and a scarf. So maybe it's cold outside. Confusing because he wouldn't be swimming if it were cold outside. And when we open it up, it says dress for spring weather. Circle what you would wear in the weather. And I have a pencil here so that I can circle what I would wear in the weather. Let's look at the first picture. Hmm, this person is wearing a raincoat, carrying an umbrella, and it's raining outside. What would you wear in the rainy weather? A raincoat, ice skates, or rain boots. Well, right in the picture, this person is wearing a raincoat and that sounds like a good idea to me. So I also would wear a raincoat. I'm going to circle that. Ice skates. Well, I don't think I would wear ice skates. First of all, they would just get all muddy if you tried to walk in the mud with ice skates. Also, they wouldn't skate very nicely on muddy ground. So we're not going to wear ice skates. Let's look at the next one. Rain boots. Well, yeah, that's the best thing for jumping in puddles. So I am definitely going to circle rain boots as something I would wear in rainy weather. Hmm. The next one says, has peep children and they are wearing t-shirts and shorts. And one of them is blowing bubbles. Isn't that fun? It says, what would you wear in hot, sunny weather? A parka, a baseball hat, a t-shirt. Hmm. Well, I think that you would only wear a parka. A parka is a heavy coat. And I think you would only wear that in the winter time and not on a hot day, only on a cold day. So I'm not going to think that I would wear a parka. A baseball hat. Now, if it's very, very sunny, you might wear a baseball hat to keep the sun out of your eyes. So I'm actually going to circle a baseball hat. A t-shirt. Well, if I look in the picture, they're wearing t-shirts. So yes, I think I would wear a t-shirt on a hot, sunny day. The next one, what would you wear in cool, windy weather? And let's see what's going on in the picture. She's got a spinny thing that would spin around in the wind. We have those in the classroom. And when you blow on them, they spin. And right here, it looks like the wind is making her ponytail go back. And she is wearing a sweater. Hmm. What would you wear in cool, windy weather? flip-flops, a sweater, snow boots. Hmm. I think I would only wear flip-flops when it's hot outside. So a cool windy day, I don't think I would wear flip-flops. A sweater, well, 
she's wearing a sweater in the picture. So I would definitely think about wearing a sweater. And if it were cool, a sweater might keep me warm. Snow boots. Uh, snow boots are only fun if there's snow. Otherwise, they just make your feet all hot and sweaty. So I would not wear snow boots in cool, windy weather. The last picture has a snowman and he's not wearing very much. Some buttons, that's about all. But his friend is wearing snow pants and a coat and a hat. So let's look down here. What would you wear in snowy weather? A tank top, mittens, a snowsuit. A tank top? No, I think I would only wear a tank top on a very hot day. This does not look like a hot day. Mittens, oh yes. Mittens are perfect for making a snowman because you can touch the snow and not get your hands too cold. A snowsuit, oh yeah, I would wear a snowsuit because first of all, it would keep you warm. And second of all, it would keep the snow from getting on your clothes. So yes, we are going to go with a snowsuit. Let's look at the bottom. Clifford's big idea. You can be flexible. Emily, Elizabeth, and her friends wanted to play outside. Now it's raining out and they have to stay inside. They feel disappointed. What should they do? So let's look over at Emily, Elizabeth, and her friends. Hmm and they want to go outside, but if we look, it's raining. Hmm. And they got all out their outside toys. There's a soccer ball and a kite. So they're really planning on playing outside. And then it started to rain. What should they do? Should they scream and cry? No, they shouldn't scream and cry because they still get to play and because if they scream, the teacher might not let them play at all, right? Hmm. Maybe what they could do is put away the outdoor toys and get out some indoor toys. Yes, that's what I would do. I would put the soccer ball and the kite away and I would get out some blocks or a baby doll. When you're flexible, you can change plans, is what the teacher is saying there. So I turned to the back page, and on here it says, use the number key to color the umbrella and raindrops. And it says to color anything that says number one, red. If it says number two, yellow. Number three, blue and number four, green. So I just reached into my big bin of crayons and I found these colors by matching. And so we'll see if we have the right colors. I have a red and a blue and a green and a yellow. Perfect. Let's get started. Let's look at the first number and it says number two. So number two is on the yellow crayon. So we need to get out our yellow crayon and we will color it. Oh, this is fun. I love to color. Great. Next one is number four. And let's take a look up here. There's a number four, and it's on a green crayon. So we're gonna color that one green. Great, and that one's all colored. Now we'll look at this one, and it says two. Two, that looks familiar. There it is. So this one is going to be yellow, just like the first one was yellow. The last one says one. 
If I look up here, ooh, the one is red. So we're gonna get our red crayon and color that. All right, it says color the umbrella and the raindrops. So let's see what the raindrops say. They say three, 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 three. I guess they all need to be blue. Don't worry if your coloring's not perfect. The more you practice, the better you'll get. And even I, with years and years of coloring experience, sometimes my coloring doesn't come out perfect. But the more you practice, the better you'll get. All right, well, I'm almost finished. Right there is the number four. So let's go back up here. <gasps> The place where you hold the umbrella is going to be green. Excellent, look at how pretty my umbrella and my raindrops turned out. There's one more thing I want to show you about this cool magazine, and it has to do with the page numbers. There's page number one, and next to it is one cloud. I'm gonna open it up. There's page number two, and next to the number two, there are two clouds. Here's page number three, and next to that is says it has one, two, three clouds. The last page is number four, and on the bottom it has one, two, three, four clouds. So that you can always tell what page you're on. You can either read the number or count the clouds. I hope you have as much fun with your Scholastic magazine as I have with mine. See you soon. Thank you for joining me today on Learn at Home with VIA.